What we ran this year gave it some really good looks. And I'll show you parts of it. This is the drill we basically started with. Um, half court, you got the ball. This is very simple. Huh? Right. You are you running into attack. Right How to run into four attack. Quarters. Four players also can, Coach five players also can. But you train um, the four players. Huh? Everybody has the there. action to play. Right. Huh? Can't deal with everybody. Stand out here. Really simple. It's a four-quarter passing drill. And I love it because it gets everybody moving. If I had two more players, we'd be all set. We can get everybody running, but this will work. You're going to move to the ball. Too many times, kids stand there and they wait for the basketball. Everybody's got to move in to get the ball. You don't wait for it. So we're going to start out here. Okay. You're going to start the drill. Ball, slot. Coach is going to flash to get the ball. He's going to come catch him here. You're going to flash. The opposite's going to flash into the high post. All right. He's moving to the ball. You're going to fill his spot. All right, you're going to fill to there. We'll rotate. You're going to catch. Great. Coach, you're going to come up, and you're going to get above the foul line extended right to here. I want you even with the ball. You're going to get right to here, and then you are going to take that hard basket cut back door. Big man's going to catch the ball. He's going to catch it facing the teammate. He's going to catch. He's going to turn, and he's going to hit you on that back door cut. So when he starts to move, you're going to flash. All right, let's try that again. You guys are interchangeable. It's fine. Stay over there. Stay over there. You got it. Four corners, and you can put three or four guys out on each. If you've got 15, 16 kids, you put four in each corner. It's fine. And everybody has to move. Everybody's got to score. When you got a half-court set, we share the court a lot of times, so I've got to come up with a lot of good half-court stuff to get it moving. And we run a two-guard top. So this is perfect where we're flashing and cutting. And God knows people have to move without a basketball. That is probably the biggest problem with our game today. Nobody moves the ball without dribbling it. And this is all about moving without putting it on the floor. All right? Step to the ball. Step to the ball. Flash. Good. Back to our cut. Great. And finish. Now, you'll go to that line. You'll go over there. The nice part here, you can rotate all four lines or... In some cases, I just keep the guards up top, and I'm just having my forward splash. That's up to you. You can rotate and have them follow their pass. All right, we won't do that tonight, but they can follow their pass. So whoever they hit, they go to that line where he came from. All right, run it again. You're going to flash. Flash on up. Up here, all the way up. Stop, stop, stop. Come on back, come on back, come on back. Now, what you'll find is kids are going to make, and this is something you got to do as a coach. You can't let everybody cut corners. Give them the ball, flash high up there, give them the ball. You're gonna come up. I want you to get up nice and high, and then instead of taking three steps, I want it in one. You're gonna plant and then cut hard back door. You're not gonna take the, the roundhouse step, right? Plant, cut hard back door, and everybody's gotta be able to move back door. Standing around out here so I can shoot the three, that's great in the NBA because they can all shoot. At the high school level, that's not reality. Unless you're living in some, unless you've got some kids, you've got five guys who can shoot, it's great. But I want people moving and cutting. This drill gives everybody a nice chance to cut. All right, try it again. Put it up top. Same four. Same four. The flash, good. Cut. Beautiful. Back to our cut. Nice. Hit it. Now, make that layup. Make that layup. Notice you didn't put it on the floor. That's ideal. The last thing you want is that kid cutting to the basket, catching the ball, bouncing the ball. Why? So he can dribble it off his foot, his knee. You know, somebody can reach in and grab it. No, we don't want that. We want that child to make sure they're catching the ball as a habit. They're catching and finishing that layup. See this player run in, run in, you pass. This player, once he get the ball, this player run in, he will pass. Once this player get the ball here, he will run a move out, then he do a U turn in for back door down here. Move in, then he pass here, then he do layup. One pass, two pass, three pass, do layup. Okay, this is the four players' movement. Huh? Once this man see him, he have to run. This once this man see him, he have to run. Once this man get the ball, he have to run in. 
Uh, everybody work in the same timing. This is called team concept of four corner pass to move. All right, they're catching to finish the left. Let's go one more. Actually, reverse it. Give him the run. Ball. Okay, you'll get a flash. Now you're the back door cut. You can run the opposite side. Here we go. Flash. Pass. Good. Pass. Cut. Uh, cut in. Uh, this is the opposite side, yeah. Right? Just now I step from the side. Now okay. I this side. Everybody's moving. Everybody's Everybody is moving. Yeah. What this does, this sets us up for a half court step. Okay, everybody is moving. It's very good concept. Okay, the last one. Now huh? this one is the last one. Huh? It's about five stars uh, passing. Huh? This is the star passing drill. The star passing drill is designed for several things. One of the main things is that you teach these kids and the kids that you train to move to their next assignment. Basketball is a continuous game. It's a pass and follow drill, but it has five points of the pass and follow. We'll start off here with the rebound. The rebounder, point one, passes the ball to point two. Point two passes the ball to point three. Point three passes to point four. Point four passes the ball to point five. Point five at that point in time does a one dribble, one dribble, one dribble only, one dribble, bounce straight into the layup. After the layup is made, the rebounder then, the next rebounder gets the ball, and this drill just continues. It goes over and over and over again. So we're going to take a look at this drill as we just move through. Everyone, we have high energy, a lot of excitement, calling out target, ball, 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 all the things that we've gone through in the other pass and follow drill, we use those same things in this drill. Here we go. Let's get started. Let's go. Tap it up, tap it up, tap it up. Let's move it. Let's move it. Lay up, bounce one, rebound, keep moving, keep moving. Great job. That's it. Move through, move to the right, move to the right. Lay up, great job, great drive. Rebound, ball, 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 ball. I don't hear it, I don't hear it. I need to hear it, I need to hear it. Lay up, driving hard, rebounding, great job. Pass it through, pass it through, pass and move. Pass and go, drive it. Good, great job, great rebound. Here we go, ball, pass it through. Pass it through. It's very important, coaches, that you make sure your kids get plenty of energy, plenty of energy, clapping it up, because they have to learn to think on their feet. They have to learn that people are screaming, coaches are yelling at them. You listen with your ears, go to your next assignment. Drive. Good job. Rebound, rebound. Go. 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 Come on, energy, energy. I'm just clapping. That's just clapping. Everyone keep clapping it up. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Let's go, go clap it up. Clap it up, we need some noise, we need some noise. You gotta think of the noise going on. Clap it up, clap it up, go to the next time. Go, 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 go. Everybody clap, everybody clap, everybody clap, everybody clap. Go, go, keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Go, go, try, try, try hard. There we go, great job. Now, ball made it down to the right side, now we're gonna switch to the left side. Same thing, guys, left side, right here, here we go. On to the left, pass to the left, great job, pass to the left, pass to the left, pass to the left, bounce one, two, bounce one, two, great job, rebound, rebound, go, keep moving, keep moving, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, great drive, great drive, clap it up, next assignment, next assignment, next assignment, pass it through, pass it through, pass it through, pass it through, great job, rebound, here we go, pop it up, pop it up, give me that energy, give me that energy, next assignment, know your next assignment, go to your next assignment, rebounder, great job, wrong with that, Right there, right there. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Great job. You and see? Then, okay. You see, yeah, uh, you can move in from the right, you can move in from the left. Uh, the right, the right, you go past the training bypass, then the left past the training bypass. It's very different direction. Uh, make sure you must be able to uh, adjust yourself in any changing of a, a, a system or, or a way of playing uh, so that you can adapt straight away on the sports or People instruct you to do things uh, must be very quick. Okay, you you see, then you learn, you must be an expert with it. Only three steps. If you see, you learn, you cannot get what, what people say, there's a problem. On the court, you will be very, very uh, different situation. Sometimes the teacher will ask you to go for the man. Some, sometimes they will ask you to go for the ball. And when you want to guard the man, the man is a very good player, you've got to guard him tight 24 hours, close him, then he get the ball. Okay, you must know which player to guard, everything, all this. Basketball are very, uh, a lot of things to learn about. 
and that's the reason why basketball players are very proud. All of them, they are going to use the hands, the legs, the body, then the brain, everything also need. Okay, so basketball players are very strong players and they are very talented. Right? People like all of you must be more talented than me. Then you will be a very great player. Okay. Okay, then talk about this uh, team concept. Okay, number one. Uh, down here, uh, number one. This is number one, it's the point guard. Okay, number two. It's the small forward, down here. Small forward. Number three. Okay, it's the power forward. Okay, number four. Okay, number four is the what? Shooting guard. Okay, actually shooting guard can be here also, uh, no problem here. Okay, it can be here also, small forward in front here. Okay, because from there you run up, point guard, small forward. This one is number five, center. Okay, uh, this is the position you need to stand. Uh, number one, point guard. Number two, small forward, move in front. Okay, number three, this one is what? Power forward. Number four, shooting gun. Number five is center. From there, you fast break up. Okay. Uh, I move the position to let you see. Yeah. Okay. Let's say this is a green color. It's a defender. Uh. Okay. Now we defend here. Uh. Let's say we defend two, three here. You see, yeah, uh, we defend here. See, yeah, uh, this is number one. Number one is what point guard, number two, small forward, number three, power forward, number four, shooting guard, number five, center. Once, boom, number five, get the rebound right now. Okay, they will spread out. All right, number one will get the ball outlet to number one. Uh, number one can go. Number two, we'll go for the left side. Number three, we'll go to the right side. Okay. And number four, we'll come here. I can move down here, so no problem. Number five, here. The way the line alignment is like that. Number one can go, stop, and shoot, or lay up. Cannot. From the right, it pass to the left, number two. Number two cannot, number three come in, pass quick. Cannot, then where? Cannot, then how? Pass to the, the right, jump shot. Cannot jump shot, then the number five come in already here. Pop, pop, pop. Number one down here, huh? number five come in. Pop, 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 pop. Then pass to number five. Number five go in, score. A five player, all the action move in. This is score one. Not only the second, the, this one kick pass out to number four shooter, uh, because it's the shooting guard. And second attack for fast break is number five move in, because number five second attack, uh, second move in, uh, second fast break. Uh, number five is very tall. In the middle, go inside, he's a tallest. So nobody can stop him when he do fast break. The only way you can stop him is to, okay, to slow him down or to foul him. Okay, all these are team tactics. Uh. Okay, you can move as a team, move up, move down very fast. And then you must also follow instruction. Uh. Young players uh, must follow instruction. Uh, number one, you must follow instruction. Number two, must hard working. Number three, you must do defense. How to do defense properly? Make sure you must know whether you're doing a man to man or zone defense, or press defense, or full court press. Everybody must know your position well. Uh, you want to play in the school team, make sure some of the things you must remember. Uh, for example, like what you must remember, you must remember some of the tactic plays, tactic plays and the roles and the position and the roles you should play, and you must also know when you uh, do uh, defense what to drop. Okay, uh, there's a lot of things to learn, but it's okay. I will do, teach you slowly, slowly to be a good player. Make sure all of you uh, also follow the teachers, huh? And during this uh, uncertain time, huh? make sure you stay safe, huh? Okay, and take care of yourself. Uh, make sure after training or what, you know, wash your hands or keep, okay? And uh, wash your pen, 
okay then some more you have to make sure uh, keep healthy your body must healthy then i hope i can see you during the face-to-face -face training uh, physical training and so uh, for this ECCA coaching, uh, you have a lot of things to learn theory so that your mind concept, your mentality is very strong. The next level of sports is what? The mentality and your thinking. Make sure you must have your everything at the start concept, remember? Self-discipline. Okay. Tenacity, never give up. Aspiration. Okay, aspiration in loving the sports and your school work, social academies, your studies, education, respect, respect and responsible, respect the people, uh, not only respect uh, yourself, respect the people, respect your opponent, the referees, the teachers, and respect the coaches, okay? Okay, responsibility, what's your responsibility? Now your responsibility is to, number one, study hard. Make sure you have a good education, then you can be one of the leaders in Singapore. So you can contribute to Singapore. Make sure you're a concerned citizen. Huh? Okay. And then you must be able to have yourself, must be able to self-direct. Huh? You must self-direct yourself to be a good learner. Okay. You must be a very uh, coachable player so that people will teach you. And the last one is uh, your responsibility to be a very good player for this basketball CCA. Okay. And you must have a very good characters. Okay. To show. And uh, be able to be a, to be have a very good leadership qualities so that people will respect you, and you are, and, and you are well known to the schools and you're one of the good players in the basketball team. And all of you, thank you to teachers. Thank you, boys. I hope you will learn from my lesson today. I'll see you again. Thank you very much.